Oh, hey everybody, caught me cleaning my lens. Actually, that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about today. My name's Mike Schluter, welcome. We're gonna talk a little bit about general camera care, especially when you're in the field. Um, there's a couple of precautions and a couple of very inexpensive items you should, I believe, take with you. I certainly do. That take up little, if any, room in your camera bag and can really make all the difference when you're out shooting out in nature, doing landscapes, if the weather starts to take a turn for the worse. Lens cleaning, of course, is a big issue. What I have found over the years to be the simplest and best method is the lens pen. Uh, it has two ends on it. One is a little camel hair brush, typically to knock any of the large stuff off if it happens, if you're in a dusty environment or whatever. After you've done that, then of course you can take, and it has on the other end, kind of a little soft suction cup with a little cleaning pad attached. You don't have to use any kind of spray cleaners or the wipes like we all used to use. This is just so handy to put in your shirt pocket or your bag. And you just do little circular motions. No big deal. You don't have to. Most people, quite honestly, it's overkill what they do. Just, just knock the big stuff off and you're good to go. Um, that's it. Put the cap back on, back in your bag or your pocket, and you're ready to go. A couple of other items. If you're out and it's raining, and many times it will happen to you, or any kind of snow, something like that, if you have just a typical... A uh, small towel or, or a washcloth type of uh, an item that you can just, uh, uh, you know, occasionally, you don't want to really wipe because that sometimes, even though these camera bodies nowadays are pretty water resistant, you don't want to wipe as much as dab, just to kind of dab some of the big stuff off as well. Never, of course, use your shirt. Uh, or your handkerchief or anything to wipe your lens. That kind of stuff is a no-no. I don't use any filters on my lenses other than if I'm using a specific filter such as a neutral density filter or a polarizing filter. I don't use the typical UV haze filters that obviously do protect your lens, but if I have good glass, I don't want those items coming between that good glass and my final image. I'm just careful with my lenses, and I think if you do that, they'll serve you well. Um, so once again, that's something easily put into your camera bag, whatever type of bag you carry. One thing I've also learned is less is more. I used to take way too much stuff with me, and I probably still do at times, but I've tried to reduce it to manageable items. You want, it to, you want to have things you need when you're out there, but to have excess is just that. It winds up being uh, an exercise in carrying it around with you, and you never get it out. Also, if a product you get, and we've all bought them, is not easy to get to or easy to use, you won't use it. So I tend to always gravitate to things that are pretty simple by design and easy to carry and get in and out of my camera bag when needed. Um, another item, and it's not specific for a camera, but it's just disposable poncho. If you're out and a rainstorm comes up and you've got your camera and maybe other gear with you that's not watertight, these things you can, once again, they take up no space, they cost a buck, throw it in your camera bag, you can put this on, you've got a mile hike back to the parking lot or whatever, you're going to be dry. Your camera and gear is going to be dry. Terrific item to take with you. Um, another item, there it is, flashlight. At some point, either by chance or design, you're going to be out in low light, possibly even at nighttime, when a lot of the greatest images are made. Uh, flashlights, especially small portable ones like this, or a small headlight fashion one, which I also have, are great. They enable you to see camera settings, maybe navigate an area you're trying to walk through. Uh, they're just they're terrific to have. Definitely put one in your camera bag or pocket as well. And finally, one other item I want to show you, and you're probably going to laugh when I show you this because most people do, but I stumbled across this, and to me it's one of the greatest things I ever found, and it was by accident. It's a shower cap. Okay, I know <laughs> I don't wear it like this. But what I do, you can pack up a bag of these, or a package of these, about 10 to a package for a couple of bucks at Walmart or Walgreens, one of your local um, supply stores. Um, they're fantastic because what I do, and I, you can of course buy commercial rain covers, and if you shoot sports where you're out in it for hours at a time in a certain spot, they're great. But I hike a lot, I get out, and there's always a chance of, an, uh, of a quick thunderstorm popping up. I don't want to have to take all that extra, they're usually made out of canvas and stuff, so they're kind of heavy. One more bulky thing to take. These things weigh next to nothing, they take up next to nothing, they cost next to nothing. Here's what I do, whether the camera's around my neck or in my bag, or if I'm waiting between shots I'm seeing some killer light and then it the rain starts to come but in another second or two I know that lights gonna be magical I don't want the camera put away I want it out to make pictures but in the meantime here's what I do boom it's protected 
it's 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 got this cool built-in elastic so it's not going to blow off other than the tornado of course it's keeping your camera dry i see man the light just got magical on the horizon I, here's all you have to do just pull it up there keep the rest of it covered boom 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 you're making some shots back over it's great so once again couple of small inexpensive items that don't take up much room in your camera bag you can carry with you that can really make your outing very pleasurable. I hope these tips have helped you and I hope they help you when you get out into the field making your photos. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Schluter. I look forward to seeing you next time.